This is 6.2 anatomy of skeletal muscle cell notes. The essential question is, what are the structures that make up and create striations in skeletal muscle cells? We discuss about the anatomy of the muscle fiber. Just know that when we are talking about muscle cell or muscle fiber and any structure within the muscle, we are talking about skeletal muscle because majority of the muscular system is made up of skeletal muscles. Remember, muscle fibers is a name for muscle cell, and they are surrounded, um, they, they are made up of smaller structures called myofibril, which is surrounded by sarcoplasmic reticulum. Myofibril, then, is further made by a smaller structure called myofilament, and there are two types of my myofilaments. The thinner myofilament is made up of a protein called actin. And the way you can remember the which one is the thin myofilament and which is the thin, thick myofilament is by the length of the word. The thin filament has the shorter word, which is actin. And the thick myofilament has the protein myosin. So myosin is a bigger word, so it's the thicker filament. Actin is the thinner filament, which is the shorter word. The myosin is much thicker because it contains a structure called the cross bridge, which is important in hooking up with the, my, the actin filament during muscle contraction. Another structure inside the myos, uh, myo muscle fiber is the sarcolemma, which is the cell membrane of the muscle cell. Recall that anytime you see a word that has the prefix sarco, it means flesh, and you know that muscles are flesh, makes up the flesh. Sarcoplasm is the cytoplasm of the muscle cell. Remember, in a cell, a cytoplasm is all of the jelly-like material that every other structure inside the cell is basically surrounded by. The sarcoplasm contains glycogen, which is a form of glucose, which is needed for energy and myoglobulin, which provides the oxygen. Both the glycogen and the myoglobulin, which provides the oxygen, is required for a process called cellular respiration. And remember, that process occurs in the mitochondria inside the cell, and it is for the production of ATP, which is a name of a, name of a form of an energy source. Here's a general breakdown of the organization of how muscles work. Remember that a entire big muscle is, makes, is made up of bundles of muscle fibers, which is called a fascicle. And then the muscle fiber is the actual muscle cell, which is further made up of smaller fibers called myofibrils. And then myofibrils are made up of two types of thinner structures called uh, myofilaments. The thick filament is called myosin and the thin filament is made up of actin filament. Also remember that skeletal muscles contain many multiple nuclei that are laterally located all on the uh, closer to the sarcolemma. The sarcoplasma reticulum is a structure which is very similar to the smooth endoplasma reticulum inside the cell. And specific function of the sarcoplasm reticulum is for storage of calcium, which is needed for muscle contraction. Sarcoplasmic reticulum come together and they fuse together to form a cisternae. The transverse tubules, also called the T-tubules, it's easier to remember because it takes the form of a T. And the reason for that is, is the sarcolemma is folded into the cell, forming a T and it is open to the surface and it extends all the way through the muscle cell. The T-tubule and the cisternae from the sarcoplasm reticulum form a structure called a triad. The T-tubule surrounds the sarcoplasm reticulum and signals the sarcoplasm reticulum to release calcium during muscle contraction. Recall again myofibril are smaller structures that make up the myofiber, muscle fiber, and bundles of myofilaments make up a myofibril. And 
and the formation of or the arrangement of the myofilament give a distinct look and pattern to the myofibril. Each section of a myofibril or one section of a myofibril from Z-line to Z-line is called a sarcomere. And they have structures called I-band, which is made by or formed by the layers of the thin fil filaments only. The Z-line is a dark line or midline of the I-band. And A-band is which makes up the dark, pan dark band in a striation is made up of thick and thin filament. And that is the reason why it's darker because it is a combination of two filaments overlapping together. The way they get these names A-band and I-band is because A-band is a bigger word. So it's thicker, it's longer. And I-band is called I-band because it's skinnier. Within the A-band is an area called an H-zone where there's only thick filaments. And then M-line is the midline of the H zone. Here is a picture of a myofibril specifically showing you the area of the structures within the sarcomere and the one in the below is basically a close-up view of the entire myofibril. So when you look at the sarcomere, sarcomere extends from a Z-line to Z-line and remember Z-line or disease disc gets its name from the fact that it's a zigzag line. There are two filaments that create this area in the myofiber or the sarcomere. You have the thin filament, which is your actin filament, which is in the blue right here. That is your thin filament. The thick or the myosin filament are in the red. So this is your myosin filament. Here is a myosin, here is a myofin. The thin filament are your actin filaments. So the area in the middle right here, which is made up of, which is made up of the combination of the thick filament and the thin filament, thick, thin filament I mean, and thick filament, thin filament, and thick filament, that overlapping, that area where they overlap, this is the A-band. Within this area, you notice there is an area which there is no thin filament and the only thing you can see is the thick filament right here. Thick filament, thick filament. Notice that the thin filament kind of stops right there. So that area where there's only thick filament, this is called the H zone. And a lot of times they're actually even called the bear zone, which we'll get into later on. Within the H zone is a line called the M line. And the M literally means middle of the sarcomere. That's what the M line is for. Then here on this area where there is only made up of the thin filament, that is your I band. I band is made up of only thin filaments. Now this pattern of the A band and I band is what creates striations because the A band is made up of thick and thin filament, it has a dark, it's the dark band in the striation. The I band, which is thinner, is made up of only thin filament, so it's going to have a lighter color. So you have light area, dark area, and then light area. This is what creates the stripes or the striations in skeletal muscle. 6.2 notes homework, number one, what are the functions of the sarcoplasmic reticulum and the T-tubules? Number two, describe the relationship of the structures of the sarcomere and describe how the striations are formed. Number three, draw and label the picture of the sarcomere below.